Today, I'm going to show you how to create this superhero takeoff using Fusion in DaVinci Resolve. My work here is finished. Today's video is sponsored by Motion Ray, and we're going to jump into Resolve here and create this cool little superhero takeoff or super jump, depending on how you want to call it. We're going to use a little bit of fusion to do it. Now, if you saw my last video on the superhero landing, you could do it the same way, but this time we're going to use a little fusion just to change it up, show you a different technique and a different way to do it. Let's jump to Resolve and check this out. In DaVinci Resolve here, I've got my one clip that I'm going to use to create this cool little sequence, and the clip is just me walking in the frame and then jumping. So this is what that looks like. I walk in the frame. I say my work here is finished. Here is finished. And then I walk over and I jump. And that's it. Okay, so that is the clip that we're going to use to create the superhero takeoff. So there's a few things that we need to do. The first thing I want to do is actually create a freeze frame of me jumping. So I'm going to go frame by frame to find the highest point where I'm jumping. So we could go, let's say, maybe there. Maybe I'll go right there, right where I'm almost at the highest point. Yeah, right there looks pretty good. I'm going to make a cut. So we can actually select just the video by holding our option or alt, selecting our video clip, and then again, hold our option or alt and drag it up a track. So now I want this to be a freeze frame. So I'm going to select my clip, come on up to clip and come down to freeze frame. So now I can make this as long or as short as I need. I'm going to leave it where it's at for right now, and that should be just fine. So the next thing I want to do is isolate myself in this particular freeze frame. In order to do that, we're going to jump over into Fusion. So I'm going to select my clip, put my playhead over top, and jump into Fusion. Now in Fusion here, we can see we've got the freeze frame, and we want to start to do a few things to it here. The first thing I want to do is isolate myself. So I'm going to select my median one. I'm going to press Shift and Spacebar. And I'm going to use the magic mask. Now, if you need to mask it out another way, you can, but I'm going to use the magic mask because that's quick. It's easy. It is only in the studio version though. So if you don't have studio, you're going to have to do it another way. Uh, you're going to have to mask it manually, you know, using some of these tools right here, but either way is fine. You can get a good result either way. So I'm going to say magic mask, going to add that in Now for the magic mask. I'm going to zoom in on my window here by holding command and then scrolling my middle mouse wheel here. And I'm just gonna paint some lines over myself here. Get my hat, backpack blower, pants down to shoes. It looks like it did a pretty good job of isolating. Now I don't want this part right here, although it's not super important that you get an exact uh, outline of myself because this is gonna be blurred and it's gonna be moving. So it's not a huge deal, but you can come in and click the, the minus there if you want and just take that little bit out. Maybe take this little bit out too. And that's looking pretty good. So now what I want to do is track this forward and backward. And actually I'm going to choose better for the mode. And even though this isn't moving, we still need to track it across the frames there. So I'm going to go ahead and hit track forward and backward. And that looks pretty good. We notice it does kind of cut out in some areas and that's okay. We can always come back and uh, brush that in a little bit if we wanted to. And that guy. Not super important, like I said, because it's going to be blurred. The next thing I want to do is add in some of that blur. So I'm going to select my magic mask, shift space bar, and we're going to say directional blur. We're going to go ahead and add that in. Now on our directional blur, we can zoom in a little bit and we want it to go up and down vertical, right? I don't want it to go side to side. So I'm going to change this to 90. So now we're getting blurred up and down and we can change the length of our blur to whatever we want it to be right now. It's nothing. And you could just change it to whatever you like, whatever you think is going to look good. So let's say I'm actually going to change it to blur. Yeah, down looks pretty good. Let's try about like that. We can always change it more later if we want. We can add in some glow if you need to. In this case, I'm not going to. So I think that's pretty good for what we need out of this freeze frame right now. So let's jump back into the edit page here. Now in the edit page, we can see, okay, you've got me blurred there. It's looking pretty good. But underneath this clip, we need to create a clip that is just the plain background, right? We don't want me in it. So in this case, I'm just going to turn off my top track here. You can see I'm right here and I'm landing, but I want myself disappeared. I want to be gone, right? So I'm going to delete this clip right here. And I need to add in just the background without anything there. So I'm going to come and extend this clip out a little bit. I walk off a frame. So from here, let's say to there, that's probably plenty. I'm going to make a cut, drag this part of the clip over. 
So now you're gonna see me jump and then I'm gonna disappear and we're back to our original clip there underneath without me in the frame. So I'm gonna turn this layer back on or this track back on and now I want myself to shoot up off the screen, right? So I'm gonna actually mute the volume on that because we don't care about the volume or the audio on there. Now, in order to make myself shoot up off the screen here, I'm actually gonna do that in Fusion as well. Before we take these two clips and put them together in Fusion, I wanna take a minute and tell you about the sponsor of today's video, Motion Array. Now, in the beginning of this video, I used a voiceover from Motion Array, which is a new feature on their website, to just add a little something different in the beginning of the video there. Let me show you how I created that real quick. On the Motion Array website, I'm logged in under my account. And if we take a look across the top of the screen here, voiceover. So all I did was come in here and I typed in that first line that you heard of the video there. For example, let's say, DaVinci Resolve is the best video editing software available. Now we can come down here and there are all different kinds of voices that we can use. I'm gonna try this one, Southern Charm. We're gonna go ahead and hit select. I'm gonna hit generate and it's done. It only takes a few seconds there and here's what that sounds like. DaVinci Resolve is the best video editing software available. I like that one. It sounds kind of cool, right? The new voiceover AI tool here on the Motion Array website is new and it does a great job of offering different kinds of voices that you might want to use in your videos. But not only do they have the good voiceover tool, but they've also got tons of great footage as well as music sound effects and the overlays that I used in this video where I'm gonna create the smoke and the fire going up as I take off as well as if you saw the previous tutorial about the superhero landing, I used an overlay from Motion Ray for that as well. So honestly, Motion Ray is probably one of my favorite one-stop shops for all the different things and parts and pieces I need to make my videos awesome. If you're interested and you're looking for something that can meet your needs, consider checking out the link down below. You can sign up for a free account too. So if you want to try it out for free, go ahead, try it out for free. All right, let's get back into making this superhero takeoff. So I want to select these two clips. I'm gonna right click and say new fusion clip. And now we can't see anything, but let's jump over into fusion and then we can fix that. Make sure your uh, playhead is over top of your clip. Jump over into fusion. Now in fusion here, we do have a few different things going on. We've got our background, which is nothing. We've got our medium one, which is the background that we want, like the clean plate essentially. And then we've got median two, which is me. So I'm gonna get rid of the background there because uh, we don't we don't need that at the moment. I'm gonna actually change around where my different median nodes are connected a little bit. I could rename these if I want. I'm gonna call this clean plate. And I do that by selecting the node and just pressing F2. I'm gonna call this hero. So let's connect the clean plate to the background. Make sure our media out here is selected on the number two screen. And once we've got our nodes connected up correctly, so we have the clean plate going to the background node, which is the yellow one here. And we've got the hero going to the foreground, which is the green node here. Now we've got our little sequence right here, kind of looking how we want it to look. But now I need my guy to shoot up off the screen. So for my hero here, his clip only comes up to right here. It's about 40 frames. So we can uh, set this however we want. We can always speed it up or slow it down if we need to. But let's come to the beginning here at frame zero. I want to add in a transform node here. So I'm going to uh, come to my hero shot, drag him out a little bit. We're going to use shift spacebar and add in a transform, or you can always use the one that's right here. Now in the transform, I'm going to go ahead and set some keyframes here. So I'm going to hit keyframe and then I'm going to go ahead one, two, three, four, five, six, seven frames maybe. And then I'm just going to come over to my Y here. I'm going to click hold and drag and raise them up off out of the frame. So let's just see how that looks. I think it's gonna need to be a little bit quicker than that. So if I come here, I'm gonna remove that keyframe, go back maybe two frames, and then drag it off the screen. See how that looks here. So that looks like it goes pretty quick off the screen. Let's go back to the edit page real quick and just kind of see how it's all coming together with the clips that happened before this, right? So with me walking over, I'm gonna just mute this real quick so we don't hear it. So here's me walking over. And then I'm gonna jump and let's see how fast they take off here, the jump. All right, so it's almost like there's a little bit of a hang there between here and there. So it's not terrible. You could leave a slight little pause like that in there or we can change it if we want. So let's jump over into Fusion and let's just change this a little bit. So if I come back to here, maybe I'm gonna lower them down just a little bit. See how that looks. 
So that does look a little bit better. I may need to even just move this clip back one frame. So let's just make a little trim there, just so it looks a little bit smoother. All right, not bad. Jumping back into Fusion here, we're just gonna move him down a little bit more. And by moving him, I mean move myself. All right, I think that looks pretty good. Back to edit. So now we need to add in a little bit more to sell this whole effect, right? Like, it looks all right. It looks kind of cool, right? But we need that cool uh, smoke and the the fire shooting out of the, uh, the blower there. So it looks like I'm taking off and blasting off. So I did get some stock footage for that. And I got it from Motion Array. So I'm going to drag this over. And this is going to be an overlay that goes with our clip here. Now, we could add this in Fusion if we wanted to. Or you can add it right here in the edit page. We're going to have to change the speed of it a little bit and just kind of make it fit with our scene here. So let's say I want it to start right where I start to jump right there. Maybe I'm going to bring this over here and you can see the flames are coming out right where I'm taking off. But we might need to actually move these down a little bit, kind of like that. And then you also might want to adjust the composite mode of it a little bit, right? Maybe you want to make it a little see through. Maybe you want to. Uh, change the blend mode here just so it blends into your scene a little bit more. It just depends on what you're trying to do. So let's say I you know, turn it back a little bit. And I did already actually speed this clip up. You can see I sped it up like 316% because it was a little slow and it didn't quite match with my clip. Now we can always adjust it if we need to. So I can go frame by frame and it looks like, you know, the blast off is pretty good. We might need to adjust that a little because you can see it get high and then it comes down again. But it's so fast that it really probably doesn't even matter. So let's make this a little quicker because you can see as I go up, we might want that to be a little bit closer. And it's so quick that just being close enough is probably good enough. And nobody's going to know the difference there. So again, here it is. Taken off. Pretty good. Now we need to add in the sound effect to really sell it. So I have a sound effect also that I got from Motion Array. It's just a rocket taking off sound. So I'm going to bring that right to the beginning here. Let's see what that sounds like. And we might want to back it up a little bit. And you can even speed it up if you need to. You can change clip speed. If it's a little slow, let's say we need we want to double it. We do no pitch correction. Let's try that. But you can adjust this and fine tune it to match up with your clip exactly. So things are coming together pretty nicely here. Now, one thing that you do want to do is because I want the uh, blower sound right, to still kind of be underneath our Fusion Clip right here. So what I'm going to do is actually just extend this out. I'm going to grab this one, hold my Option or Alt key, and just extend that out. And then I'm going to fade it. So that way you can hear the blower start up. I'm going to shoot off. It's going to blend in with the rocket sound, and it should be all good. So let's kind of see how the sequence is coming together. I've got the music unmuted here. Here's what it's looking like all together. My work here is finished. And if I just adjust the music a little bit there, so it ducks down underneath my speaking right here, I think we're looking in pretty good shape here. Now, I did add on a little bit of extra stuff here. I'm going to paste in my adjustment layer here that I added on top of all these other clips right here so that I had the black bars on there. There was a little bit of color grading, which we could do color grading either in Fusion or just jump into the color tab, right, and adjust it a little bit there. But in this case, too, maybe I want it to, uh, you know, me not be so low on the frame if I'm using the black bars, right? So I could just select both of these, raise them up a little bit, and then it could look a little something like this. Here it's finished. And then I might want to just make the Fusion Clip a little bit smaller so I can fade it out. And there we go. That's working out pretty good. Now, if you did want to color grade it in Fusion, I can select my Fusion Clip, jump over into Fusion. So in Fusion here, I'm just going to delete this background node because I don't need that. I'm going to select my Merge node number two, and I'm going to add in a color corrector node. Or if you needed curves or brightness and contrast, whatever, whatever you need, you can add in. I'm just going to add in the color corrector here. Let's say I just wanted to... Boost the saturation a little bit, make it maybe a little brighter, a little, little lift in there, drop down the gamma. You know, you make the changes that you think you need to make. And because both of the clips that we're using are from the same original clip, it's okay if we just color grade it like together like this, right? So you could do it here or you could do it over in the color tab. Either way is just fine. It's all depends on what you want to do and how you want to work. So we jump back into the edit page here. 
We could also copy that color grade infusion to this first clip right here if we wanted to. So if we just put our playhead over this clip, jump into fusion, turn on my clips and come in here, just control C to copy the, or command C, I should say, either one, depending on your Mac or PC. Copy it from our fusion clip there, come to our other clip. I'm just gonna paste it in here. And now the color of our clips should at least match up. Here's what it looks like with all those clips together. My work here is finished. So you get the idea of how that's all working together there. Now, yes, I take a little more time to do the color grading and we can fine tune things and make it a little bit better than what we did here. But this is the basic idea of how you start to put something like this together. It's really quick and easy. And if you combine this technique with how I showed you to do the superhero landing, you can make yourself jumping from one place to another. You can do a lot of cool stuff using techniques like that, either in Fusion or right in the edit page. And don't forget your sound effects, your music, and then also those overlays, right, of the smoke, or of the rocket taking off, those kinds of things. I got those from Motion Array, and that's really gonna help sell different kinds of visual effects that you try and do, right? You don't have to go and create all that stuff yourself. You can jump over to someplace like Motion Array, pick up the free account there, try it out for a little while, see what you can download, or you jump on one of the paid versions from uh, Motion Array, and then you can have access to all those cool assets that you just download, and then you can use them to create different kinds of cool VFX. A big thank you to Motion Array for sponsoring today's video. If you're interested in checking them out, I'll leave a link down in the description below. Try out the free version. I used it for a long time before I ever got a paid version, and uh, there's a lot of great stuff there, so I think you might find it helpful. All right, guys, if you have any questions on how we did this stuff today, drop a comment down below. I'm happy to help out if I can. And uh, with that said, I will see you in the next video. Peace.